Salutations, this is Basic Public Speaking and I am Christy Thomas. This video is relating with week eight, which is the dates of February the 28th through March the 6th. This is a work week. You don't have any lessons this week. I just want you to, to devote this week to working on the second main speech. That's due March 6th by midnight. This speech is the informative how-to speech. This is where you are telling us a process how to do something, whatever it may be, but how to do something. The goal is that you're teaching us. So I always say use it as an event show and tell, but really you're teaching us a process <clears throat> on how to do something. I uploaded a previously recorded video that I did last semester talking about the requirements. My goal was to um, upload a new one, but it's the exact same information, but I had some work done at the dentist this week and haven't really felt much like talking. So we have this video. <clears throat> Again, this is a work week. No lessons are this week. And you have your second main speech is due Sunday, March 6th by midnight. <clears throat> the next week, week nine is our spring break. So we won't have any coursework or lessons or anything. So, And I'll send a little reminder about it by the end of the week in case you forget that next week is spring break. For this speech, like I said, it's a how-to informative speech. Your requirements are time limit. You have to be at least three minutes. A An outline is due. And we, we've talked about outlines. And there are tons of examples uploaded to Blackboard all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. I have them uploaded so you can find them. Um, and we just did the outline lesson to help us get ready for this. So, once again, it's a how-to informative speech. This is a main speech. Technical requirements is you have to speak for at least three minutes. And an outline is due. For the informative process, you can tell us how to bake a cake, um, tie a shoe, fix a car engine, change a tire, kick a soccer ball how to dribble you know anything that you want to tell us how to do I always suggest that you do something that you enjoy because it makes it easier to talk about that's any speech um, <clears throat> but sky's the limit on what you want to tell us to do so again the only thing I ask for that is if you're telling me how to cook something or bake something that you don't read me the directions off the box word for word you can use, like, obviously, use cake mixes and box mixes and stuff like that for food, but add your own little spin on it. I call it semi-homemade because I make cakes, but when I make cakes, I add a lot of little extra things to make it taste more from scratch. So, you can go that route. Or if you have a favorite family recipe that you want to talk about, you can talk about that. Oh, also, I forgot to mention with this, a visual aid requirement is re a visual aid is required for this so technical requirements are speak for at least three minutes an outline is due and a visual aid now when it comes to online courses with speech and recording visual aid is a lot easier or to me to do as opposed to setting it up in the classroom so visual aids and we had a lesson over it and I did a video on it in the uploaded previously recorded video I did with the requirements also discussed the visual aid aspect but for visual aids you can show me the physical process so if you tell me to cook something maybe you set up in the kitchen you show me the ingredients and maybe you do a step by step now you can do editing for this video because sometimes you know it's hard to show in time things but you can set up maybe you can edit you know, step one, step two, step three, so forth. Um, you, maybe you're showing us how to change a tire, tire, excuse me. So you're outside with the physical car and then you show us this is the technique to remove the flat tire. This is what we do, you know, that process. So it's, to me, doing it online makes it a little bit easier than what you would do if you were in class. Because in class, it's usually like, PowerPoint presentations or pictures or a an after process, like something that you've made after process. But 
doing it like this, you can show me the process. Say you know, say you make shirts, they're sublimation or vinyl shirts. Perhaps you do the bleach out process. So you show me the shirt, how you bleach it out, and then you can do that. You know, how SpongeBob SquarePants has do days later or hours later, something like that. And it takes you to the next process, which is where you print out your design. You weed your design, you press it, whatever the case may be here. So you can get really creative. Let's just one more time. This is a work week. There are no lessons this week. Sorry, I'm outside. So if you hear birds, <laughs> that's why. Um, technical requirements are you have to speak for at least three minutes. An outline and do is due and a visual aid showing the process. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said, this is due Sunday, March 6th by midnight. And if you're missing any work or any speeches, try to get that in to me as soon as possible. Thanks so much, guys. I hope that you have an amazing week. Bye.